What's going on, guys? It's your boy Devo here with none other than Sunreal. Brother, how's it going? Hey, man. I'm good. How are you doing? Doing fantastic. We were sharing a few stories just prior to this, and you're doing amazing things. And uh, just wanted to quickly congratulate you on hitting a million views on Can I Get a Witness? Uh, what's that feeling like when you get a million views on a video that quickly? I mean, coming from Canada especially, it's it's huge, man. I mean, we got less people in Canada than the state of California, you know what I mean? And uh, so, like, there's not a lot of rappers up here that get two, three million views on, you know I mean, on videos. So, I mean, that's our fastest one to hit a million. Uh, everywhere we go is about to hit three million. Um, you know, I got uh, Preach is about to hit two million. So it's, it's, it's cool, man. They're all going. It's funny. Once one starts going quick... Uh, the it's funny like all my new fans like that I'm getting off of this tour and everything are all going back and uh, like everywhere we go is like a brand new song to them so it's it's been really cool man Tumble. that's insane and then Soho just you released that today right no so uh, the video came out like a week ago I think yeah and it's almost at a hundred thousand views which is insane and that music video I just want to dissect that a little bit for, you know for those who haven't seen it we'll obviously have the links below mad dope video concept and when did you do that? Cause I mean, there's snow, or maybe it was recent. Like where, where, and how? Uh, we were touring across Canada uh, this February with my friend Classified, and um, uh, we shot. We just pulled over the van and just <laughs> shot our first shots in Regina, and that's where, uh, like, where I'm uh, standing on the lake and stuff. Yeah. That's where um, that all is. Uh, and then we shot it in uh, Halifax and Prince Edward Island. Do you just kind of pull over and say, hey, that's going to be a cool shot. Like, let's do something for that. Or is it like in your head or? No, we just have no idea what we're doing. Like, actually no idea. We don't know what we're doing at all. And that's the great, greatest thing about it, man. Uh, uh, Soho started off, uh, we pulled over on the side of the road and I kneeled in a snowbank. Like, I was up to, like, I was up to, like, my waist in snow. And I just started rapping uh, my stuff in a snowbank. And then that turned into me rapping in front of this uh, other place that we put three of me there and we we're like oh that looks cool and then we're like what if we got a drone and then we hit up a fan and a fan linked us a drone for free and we popped it up in the sky and we're like yo this looks crazy let's go drive three hours this way and see if we can get a better shot and then we got a better shot and i really have to say uh shooting music videos isn't rocket science i think uh idea trumps everything it doesn't matter if you got a big crew or a lot of money uh if you got a great idea and um you know, it trumps everything, and to find my ideas, lots of the time I have to just dive into it, whether I know what I'm doing or not. So yeah, that's amazing. And for the, I guess, a lot of young people out there who think you know they need big budgets and stuff like that, I guess you know, essentially what you just said right now, if you just have an idea, you know, that's essentially it. So thank you, thank you for that, because you know, a lot of people may not know that they may have a cons misconception of you know, I'm a, I must have a huge budget, but. Yeah. You're doing oh, huge budget's nice too. I mean, you know, the huge budget stuff looks good, but some of my biggest budget videos didn't do as good as my low budget videos. Preach, we shot preach for like a hundred dollars. Wow, I really like the beat. I got some shit up on my chest. I think it's time I preach, it's time I preach. So, you know, that's uh, my second biggest video. So, you know, and then you know, everywhere we go was uh, funded by Much Fact. Uh, so, you know, that was like thirty thousand dollars or something. And, you know, you can shoot great videos with money and without, you know. The name, are you excited for that to drop? Oh man, I'm, I'm so, so, so excited. There's been like this big gap yeah. where my fans haven't got to come with me on this huge gap because I've been in the studio just relentlessly working on this music, but I've grown as an artist and I've changed and uh, I found out I wanted to sing a lot more. I found out I wanted to rap harder or slower or faster I just wanted to change like you know what I mean I just wanted to um, change the way I was doing things and talk about different things and dig a little bit deeper with these songs so I'm um, really really proud of the EP and I'm excited to share that big gap that they didn't really get to see me in uh, and share it with them so that's absolutely amazing and what would you say what has changed from the last Sunreal to the new evolved Sunreal uh, I would say just more comfortable in my own skin man and like uh, you know, as a rapper, I was always uh, afraid to go too pop, or I was afraid to sing too much, or I was afraid to do this. You know what? I just quit being afraid of anything. I just made the music I wanted to make, and there's all sorts of songs on my album and on the EP that's coming out that are very pop influenced. There's lots of that are soul influenced, and then there's songs like Soho that are just dead hard songs. You know what I mean? So we like just just anything I loved. I just 
put it into my music and I, I'm kind of genreless. I don't really have a genre and I, I love that because my favorite artists were genreless. So thank you so much for spending the time here with us. I'm super excited for the EP to drop. You guys know where to go to check it out www.bestfan.com here with the man, the myth, the legend, Sun Real. It's your boy Devo signing out. Back to my business. Used to dreaming now, motherfucker, litters. Kill the shit, Mr.